So what is going on everybody? Fernando Silva here with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Microsoft Office, the application for iPadOS and iPadOS 15 specifically. Microsoft has been spending a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of resources on making these Microsoft Office suite of applications very usable, very user friendly, and also very powerful on the iPad Pro or any iPad for that matter. So in today's video, we're gonna start a series on all the Microsoft applications that are made for the iPad, whether it is an iPad Pro, the latest and greatest, or an iPad 9th generation, they all work exactly the same on every single iPad, as long as you have iPad OS 15 or higher. But without further ado, let's talk about Microsoft Office, the application first off in episode one, and then we'll move on to Excel, PowerPoint, and all those other good ones. So leave a comment down below, which one you wanna see most and what features you wanna see tried out inside of those applications. So I can test them out and let you know like, hey, you're gonna get you know 90% of Microsoft Excel on the iPad Pro, or maybe you're gonna get the full 100 depending on what your use case is. So leave those comments down below because we're gonna be looking through them and making videos that correspond to those comments. But without further ado, let's get into Microsoft Office, everybody. And this app is actually very, very cool and very useful. Let's get into it. So let's get right into this video, everybody. As you can see, I'm gonna show you guys what software version I'm on. So you can see that I'm on 15.4. I am part of the beta program, but I wanted to show you guys this to let you know that as long as you're on 15.0 or higher, and even if you're in the beta program, this application is gonna work perfectly and flawlessly. So if we go into my Microsoft Office folder, you can see that I have the Microsoft Office application, which is what we're gonna go over today, but then I also have all the main applications over here. But basically what Microsoft offered to us about a year ago was this new Microsoft Office application, which is kind of like the center hub of all of your Microsoft needs on your iPad and iPad OS device. So as you can see, when you first jump in here, you're normally greeted with the home section. So the home section, gives you a rundown of all your most recent files that have anything to do with Microsoft. So it has all your PowerPoint presentations, your Word documents, your Excel files, any notes that you've had in the past. You also have files that have been shared with you, any pin files that you have over here. And it's just a, a nice hub in order to be able to navigate all the different files that you have from a Microsoft Office standpoint without having the need to go to those specific applications. And you can just run them directly from here. And I'll show you that in a second. But you can see that it does adopt that 13.4 cursor support, as you can see, when I hover over the search bar, my cursor changes. When I hover over here, the filter button, you can see that it takes over that filter. And then also inside of the search bar, you actually can use scribble. So if I type in hello or write in hello, you can see that it does work. So if I cancel that, you can see that scribble does work at least inside of the search bar because it's part of the native UI. Scribble does not work inside of the applications themselves. So just do keep that in mind. What I really wanna show off is the tools and actions that this Microsoft Office application does offer. So everything you see here is something that I would do on a regular basis, but I would go out of my way to find a third party provider to get it done, right? So sign a PDF, I would normally have to go to like Adobe to get that done. Scan to PDF, I could do that directly from the file, so that's always been there. But then things like PDF to Word Converter, document to PDF, pictures to PDF, I would always have to go on Google and find a way to get that done from a third party you know, website in order to convert my words to PDFs and vice versa. So being able to have all those tools built right in to this application is absolutely awesome. Again, and keep that in mind, most of the time you do have to pay for services like this, especially with these PDF converters. You then have built-in tools for image to text, which again is now natively offered by 15.0 and higher on iPadOS. But being able to just do that from here, you have the access to your camera, which is beautiful to see. So we'll X out of there. You also have image to table. So extract a table from your picture into Excel. So you can actually extract an entire table and import it into Excel. You have the ability to scan QR codes from here, create a form, rehearse with your coach with PowerPoint presentations, which is something that's very, very cool. You basically rehearse with your coach, you click on a presentation, and then it brings you into this mode. And then it brings you into this mode where it basically allows you to recite your presentation as if you're giving a presentation to whoever you are. And then it times you, it looks for any ums, it looks for anything that you would need to use fewer of. So it says here, use fewer fillers, like basically. So if we pause it, let's stop it. Then you get a bunch of analytics if I end the session. So you can see that I spent 15 seconds on it. One slide was rehearsed. I'm talking about 150 words a minute. I should, my fillers have been um and basically. So I love this tool. And I think this tool is perfect for not only PowerPoint presentations, but for conversations like this one that I'm having, which is basically just doing a voiceover and making sure that my ums are all cut out. So I love this rehearse feature that's built into the Microsoft Office app. And then you also have the ability to transfer files down here. And if we continue on the left-hand side, you actually have the ability to look at your OneDrive folder, access anything you have from here. So 
all of my Excel files, my Word documents, my PowerPoint documents are all right here and accessible through here. And then if I keep looking down here, you have your menu. So it lets you know like which applications are available with your license option and then lets you know if you have them downloaded. And if you don't, it lets you download them directly from here. You have a little questions mark and then you have your settings. So your storage accounts, your offline files, because you can save files offline just in case you're in a situation where there is no Wi-Fi or no cellular data. But now lastly, what I do wanna show off is again, you can actually use that Microsoft suite of products inside of this application. So if I click on create down here, you have the ability to start a Word document, an Excel, a PowerPoint, you can scan a photo and then also create a note. So if I wanted to open up a Word file, I'm gonna do a blank document, it opens it up and you can see that if I go into my multitasking, I'm still in the Microsoft Office application. I am not in Microsoft Word. So if I type in hello, my name is, you know, sub to the channel. So you can see that it's a normal Microsoft Word document and it gives you all this different options that you would from any other Microsoft application. So you have the ability to bold things. I can use hotkeys to highlight everything. You know, I'm gonna bold it. I'm gonna italicize with hotkeys if I can. You can, I can underline it directly from here. So everything that you would have from a Microsoft Word standpoint or any other products or any Microsoft Suite products is now accessible, editable, viewable, and shareable directly from this application. So I love that. You have your regular edit buttons. You you can still insert different photos. You can insert tables if you want. You can delete things. So I'm gonna delete rows. It also changes dynamically. So it adds that other table toolbar because you are in the table. And if I leave it, it goes away. So you have the ability to draw with your Apple Pencil. So I'm grabbing my Apple Pencil, clicking on it, and you can see that I'm drawing. You can also draw with touch, which is nice. So if I tap on that, I'm now using my finger to draw. And then again, my Apple Pencil to draw. You can highlight whatever you want. So having that Apple Pencil integration is what makes you know, iPad OS and Microsoft such a great marriage because you're able to use your Apple Pencil in correspondence with Microsoft Word documents and any other Microsoft documents. So you can have your layout change, you can review changes, you can view things differently. You know, you can have a mobile view, you can have non-mobile view, you can do a print layout view. So all these things are accessible directly from the Microsoft Office application. So if I go back to home and let's say I wanna open up a different Excel file, I am now inside of Excel, as you can see, and I'm zooming in and out with my fingers, I'm zooming in and out with the actual trackpad. I'm shifting and highlighting multiple cells. You know, I'm grabbing this, I'm pressing control B to bold everything. So you're able to work with a normal Microsoft Excel file directly from this application. And the only real downfall with this application is that you cannot multitask with it. So unfortunately, if I press on the three dots and if I move it to the left, and let's say I try to open up another instance of Microsoft Office, it won't let me, it says multiple windows not supported. If I try to grab just a different application, so let's say I wanna grab let's say Microsoft Outlook, it does let you multitask with other separate applications. So keep that in mind. You cannot use multitasking with the same instance of itself, but you can multitask with other applications, which is great to see. So at least you get, you're getting that. And just a little spoiler, when we do go on to the other applications, if I wanna open up a Microsoft Word application, I actually do have the ability to create a second instance of Microsoft Word. So you can have two Microsoft Words open side by side when you're using just the applications. So that's great, but we'll talk about that in a future video. But with Microsoft Office, the application, you can only have one instance of the Office application open at one time. But that is the app in a nutshell. So it's basically a hub for all of your Microsoft Office applications on your iPad Pro with some added tools in here, like all these PDF editors and PDF converters and QR scanners and the Rehearse with Coach, absolutely a game-changing feature. But let's get out of this view and finish up the video, go to the normal view. So that's gonna do it for this video, everybody. Like you saw, the Microsoft Office Suite, I think is the best all-in-one application that it has ever been made when it comes to the Microsoft product on iPad OS 15. Because inside of that Microsoft Office product, you can use the main suite, right? You can use Microsoft Office as a hub application, but then you can also use Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, all inside of this application without ever having to leave it and then use full forms of it and not just watered down versions of these applications. So overall, what Microsoft has been doing for the iPad has been great. And I guess Microsoft really had to pivot and say like, hey, there's a lot of iPad users out there that want to use the Microsoft suite and are willing to pay for the Microsoft suite as long as applications work and they work well on the iPad Pro. And again, with Microsoft Office, I think this application is a perfect starter 
for anybody that wants to get involved or get into the Microsoft suite, but doesn't really know the ins and outs too much. So this one brings all the Microsoft products in one main application, and it brings a bunch of productivity tools built in this application, like PDF converters and things of that nature, all built into one app. So kudos to Microsoft for making the experience that much better with Microsoft Office. My only gripe is that I wish you could actually use multitasking with this, but you'll see with all the other applications, the standalone applications, that iPadOS 15 multitasking is fully supported on the regular applications. But that's gonna be a video for another day. That's gonna do it for this one. If you guys made it to the end, leave a little dolphin right here or in the comments down below to make sure that you guys made it to the end so I know. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to check out channel sponsor Paperlike. Always the first link in the description below. And that's gonna do it, everybody. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here. Like I said, comment down which Microsoft Office application you wanna see next on the iPad Pro. I'm out.